Hey, what's up, guys? Betty here, and welcome back to Xbox On at the end of another awesome month for gaming. Myself and Bex are going to talk you through all of August's biggest news to make sure that you didn't miss a single thing. We've got new releases as well as Xbox Game Pass titles that you can start installing right now, starting with some huge announcements. August brought us some tasty news about what's coming for Xbox in the back half of 2020, but none tastier than the announcement that the Xbox Series X will be launching this November. It'll be arriving in just a couple of months from now with thousands of games across four generations and over 100 games optimized to take full advantage of the power of the Xbox Series X. The new console features technology like DirectX and variable ray tracing, high refresh rates, faster loading times, 120 frames per second, the list goes on. I mean, you get it by now, the Xbox Series X is gonna be a beast. Other big news announced this month was the addition of game streaming to Game Pass Ultimate, meaning Ultimate subscribers will soon get Xbox Game Pass for console, Xbox Game Pass for PC, Xbox Live Gold and cloud gaming on their Android devices in one handy subscription. Score. We've also just got a sneak peek at the new sleek Xbox dashboard and how the user experience will look and feel going forward and oh boy how good it looks. A few feature updates to note right now include a new and improved landing page, new notifications inbox, individual volume sliders for party chat, new activity feed look and a connected visual theme that you can customize and match up across your devices to make it completely your own. There's so much to this amazing update and more to be excited for as we move to the next generation of gaming. My fellow Americans, a nuclear conflict could well be mankind's last. We want to make this a more peaceful world. And if you've got a hankering for some new game announcements, well, August had got you covered there too. We got our first glimpse of the newest Call of Duty with the reveal of Black Ops Cold War, which actually kicked off with an amazing live event in Warzone itself, which was pretty awesome. Coming in November, this is a direct sequel to the original 2010 Black Ops game with an 80s set campaign and a multiplayer that's both cross-generation and cross-platform, so you can play with friends whatever they're playing on. And I cannot wait to find out more in the build-up to release. And then on the 22nd, DC's Fandome event brought loads of news about the superhero universe across all media. But let's talk about the games. Gotham Knights, the new open world title from Warner Bros Games was announced with a cinematic trailer, introducing four playable characters, Robin, Batgirl, Nightwing and Red Hood. In Gotham Knights, Batman is dead, spoiler alert, and it's up to the Batfam to fill that void and take care of the city. With the premiere confirming a 2021 release, we sure can't wait to see what next gen Gotham looks like. Also announced was Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Well, at least they don't have to worry about Batman. Sorry, too soon. Anyway, Rocksteady's newest project features the infamous team of supervillains who are on a mission to take down the goody two-shoes Justice League. Or maybe not so goody, based on Superman's behavior in the trailer. I mean, I've heard of a death stare, but that's ridiculous. The presentation confirmed four fan favorite characters. Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Captain Boomerang, and King Shark will be the featured quad squad. And we also know the game will be set within the Arkhamverse, continuing some plot lines from Rocksteady's beloved Bat Games. Those are some good games to look forward to, but what about the stuff you can play right now? Well, there have been plenty of great releases this month, from Ubisoft's entry into the world of Battle Royale with Hyperscape to the unexpected tactical TV tie-in that is Peaky Blinders Mastermind. Henry recently had the pleasure of playing the game with Peaky Blinders' very own Arthur Shelby, also known as Paul Anderson. Now you're brummy, do your best brummy. My best brummy. Yeah, don't worry about trying to do my accent, but do your brummy, at least do your brummy. At least do that. Two months. Two glorious months. Don't worry about trying to do my accent. I could You're never, trying to do I Arthur. Never. You can check out the highlights of what they got up to down below. 
And of course, it's currently sports game season, so whether you prefer balls, cars, or two blocks rearranging each other's faces, August has your back with the release of the latest Madden, PGA Tour, Project Cars, and UFC titles. But really, August has been all about Xbox Game Studios. Between first-party developers and its publishing arm, we've been truly spoiled this month with four brand new Xbox exclusive bangers landing in the space of two weeks. First up was Microsoft Flight Simulator, landing on PC to rave reviews. It's currently sat at 93 on Metacritic, the joint highest score of any PC game this year. And it's not hard to see why, the game packs in an incredible recreation of the entire Earth for you to visit at your leisure, and a whole host of options that will let you earn your wings while also challenging experienced pilots. And of course, because it's an Xbox Game Studio title, it was released straight on Game Pass for PC, and it'll do the same thing when the game eventually touches down on console. Don't worry, it's definitely coming, but we all know it can be hard to predict exactly when a flight is going to land. Of course, Flight Sim wasn't the only Xbox Game Studio to launch day one onto Xbox Game Pass. You've also got Battletoads, a revival of Rare's amphibious arcade classic that's available in the console and PC libraries. And because this is a Play Anywhere title, you're free to hop between the two. Perfect for a quick solo session in front of your monitor before jumping over to the TV for a bit of couch co-op. The game combines old school beat em up thrills with a new art style ripped straight out of a 90s cartoon for an experience that's truly riveting. Completing the hat trick of new installments to the beloved series on the 28th of August was Wasteland 3. This is the follow up to the classic RPG that laid the bombed out groundwork for Fallout. But you don't need to know any of the history to enjoy this trip to post apocalyptic Colorado. It's got multiple factions to juggle and a host of threats to take on, from cannibal cowboys to mutant buffalo and a giant robot statue of Ronald Reagan that shoots lasers from its eyes. And really, what more could you want from a game? And finally, taking us into next month is the first chapter of Tell Me Why, the latest narrative adventure from Life is Strange studio Don't Nod. This tells the story of twins returning to their childhood home and some past traumas as they try to unpick the mysteries of the past. And if that's not reason enough to check it out, it's also a groundbreaking game when it comes to trans representation. So jump on with the first episode now, with the next two dropping week by week in September, and of course, all on Xbox Game Pass right away. What in God's name is this? Some sort of abandoned ship. But what's that? You want even more Xbox Game Pass new additions? You should know by now, we've got you covered. As soon as news drops about games joining the Game Pass library, we'll have a video for you detailing all you need to know before you add it to your download queue. Fans of elevated heart rates, sweating and a bad night's sleep will be thrilled to see the Dark Pictures anthology Man and Madan drop into Game Pass in August. This horror title blends a choose-your-own-demise style of gameplay with a devilishly engrossing story that will keep you and your friends on the edge of your seats. And when you're ready to calm down after facing a frightening scare, Spiritfarer's soothing and peaceful gameplay loop is ready to greet you with open arms. This game is available on both Game Pass for PC and console, meaning that even more folks can enjoy its heartwarming approach to the subject of loss and closure. A few of our Game Pass editions come with nostalgia warnings this month too, either because they feature retro style graphics or because they'll be injecting you with a healthy dose of 90s aesthetic. Hypnospace Outlaw definitely fits that description, thrusting you into the role of content moderator on an alternate reality vision of the internet. Solve puzzles to prevent the nasty viruses and copyright violations from seeping through, or you may like the look of Xeno Crisis which is an action-packed couch co-op experience that could have been pulled right out of the Sega Mega Drive. Probably because it is. This is a port of the hugely popular 16-bit arena shooter, which is oozing with a gorgeous pixel art style, chip back backing tracks, and a wicked rogues gallery of enemies to blast. Let's keep it in retro land for a little longer while we talk about It Lurks Below which is a 2D action-orientated survival game with some interesting RPG mechanics. 
As the name suggests, you'll be digging a little deeper than usual to explore some procedurally generated levels in search of random loot, sinister enemies, and more. This title has a bit of gaming prestige to it, as the game designer David Brevik is the father of other games such as Diablo 1 and 2, Marvel Heroes and Hellgate London. We're in safe hands then. Another set of RPGs definitely worth talking about are Final Fantasy VII HD and Darksiders Genesis, both available on console and PC. As most of you know, Final Fantasy VII is regarded as one of the greatest RPG titles of all time, so it's only right that it drops into the greatest subscription service of all time as well, right? Well, lead Cloud and his buddies on the environmental activist mission of a lifetime by taking on the big bad corporations that are draining the planet of its life source. This is a chunky game with over 50 hours of content to enjoy, so find yourself a comfy chair to sink into and go save the world and take down Sephiroth. As for Darksiders Genesis, it's time to saddle up for the first time as the fourth horseman of the apocalypse, Strife. He and his brother, War, have been tasked by the Chard Council to investigate some weird goings on. Seems like Lucifer himself is up to no good. What a surprise. So you'll be running, gunning, slicing and dicing many a demon foe in pursuit of the devil. It's some wild action packed gameplay, well worth the trip to hell. Even after all of that, there's still more games. Let's rattle through them quickly so that we can tell you all about the latest games of Gold Editions in August. Both console and PC gain access to Trailmakers, Undermine, Don't Starve Giant Edition, and Double Kick Heroes. And that's not all. If you've been playing the game preview of Grounded, a big update has just arrived with new quests, craftable items, a perk system, and water fleas. But really, bird is the word here because there's now a massive, well, massive from your shrunk down perspective, crow to worry about. So there's plenty to keep us busy, but how about those games with gold titles, Bex? Even more free games came with August Games with Gold. Portal Knight, a cute cartoony 3D sandbox, was available all the way from the 1st to the 31st of August. Dirt Bike Classic MX Unleashed was free to download from the 1st to the 15th of August. And Red Faction 2, the Space Age FPS Fight Against the Regime game, is available for the latter half of the month until the 31st as well. So hurry if that takes your fancy. Override Mech City Brawl is still available through till September 15th. If you're looking for some high octane, city crushing, mech fighting fun, and just like the Game Pass updates, we post videos looking at the games with gold every month. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss out on free games news. Phew, so there you have it, August. It's been such a packed month. Let us know what your highlights have been down in the comments below. And remember to hit that like button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.